when we talk about giant dinosaurs, our brains usually jump straight to the long-necked sauropoda crew like Titanosaur or the infamous predators like T-Rex. But when it comes to the question, what's the biggest non-sauropod dinosaur? The answer comes from a lesser-known underdog Shantungosaurus giganteus, a duck-billed hadrosaur that's about to steal the spotlight. Picture yourself 70 million years ago, deep in the Cretaceous period. The long-necked sauropods, aka the titanosaurs, are the undisputed champs of the planet. These guys are straight up massive, with sizes that'll make your head spin weighing over 80 tons and stretching more than 30 meters long. To put that in perspective, Imagine lining up seven African bush elephants tail to trunk. These titans roamed all seven continents from South America to Africa and were the ultimate symbols of dino greatness. But if we take them out of the equation, who's the biggest baddie of them all? You might bet on a hulking predator like T-Rex, I mean, to take down big prey. You gotta be big yourself, right? T-Rex tipped the scales at about 10 tons, which is no joke, but sorry, buddy. It's not quite MVP material. The real answer comes from an unexpected corner late Cretaceous China, home to a dinosaur you've probably never heard of, Shantungosaurus amais. This beast was discovered in 1973 when paleontologists stumbled across a bone bonanza in the Shandong Peninsula, part of the Wangxi Formation. They found five skeletons, not fully complete and a bit jumbled, but one look at that pile of bones and the scientists knew, holy smokes, we've just hit the jackpot with something huge. At first, they, they thought these were the remains of a sauropod because the size was just bonkers. But nope, after some serious sleuthing, they realized this was a duck-billed hadrosaur, closely related to Edmontosaurus, a well-known North American dino. Edmontosaurus? already considered a big deal in the duck-billed dino world, got outclassed by Shantungosaurus. Even the smallest Shantungosaurus, likely a juvenile, had thigh bones as massive as an adult elephant. And the grown-ups buckle up, a typical adult stretched 14.7 meters long and weighed over 13 tons. That's seven times heavier than your average car. And that's not even the max. The biggest ones could hit 16 to 18 tons and reach 17 meters in length. Some bold estimates even push the scale to 19 or 22 tons, though those numbers are still up for debate. But even at its lightest, Shantungosaurus outweighed every theropod dinosaur, including heavyweights like T. rex or Spinosaurus, and outstretched them all. It's not just the biggest duck-billed dino, it's the largest ornithischian. That's the group that includes Triceratops and Stegosaurus ever discovered. Heck, some Shantungosaurus individuals were bigger than a few famous sauropod dinosaurs, to put it in perspective. Shantungosaurus was three times the size of Stegosaurus, twice as big as Ankylosaurus, you know, the living tank, and about 40% larger than Triceratops. Now, weight-wise you'd need around 260 average-sized people to match one Shantungosaurus. And here's the jaw-dropping part, since this dino could walk on its hind legs. It's considered the largest bipedal animal to ever roam Earth. Talk about a monster, its biggest thigh bone could even rival those of massive sauropods. Though its body proportions were different, don't get your hopes up for a 100-ton Shantungosaurus, but 18 tons and 17 meters is already mind-blowing right now. Let's stack it up against the biggest land mammals ever, like the giant elephant Paleoloxodon or the massive Rhinoparaceratherium. Both hit similar max weights as Shantungosaurus, but on average, Shantungosaurus seems to edge out heavier and is longer, so it's got a legit shot at the title of biggest non-sauropod animal to ever walk the earth. Even crazier scientists have found over 50, possibly up to 100 Shantungosaurus skeletons. And they all show these dinos regularly tip the scales at over 10 tons. That means this insane size wasn't a one-off. It was the norm for the species picture, a herd of Shantungosaurus marching through the forest like a fleet of living bulldozers, shaking the ground with every step. Can you imagine a more epic scene? So. Why was Shantungosaurus so ridiculously huge? Honestly, we're not 100% sure. 
But scientists reckon its massive size helped it dodge predators and reach high up foliage that other dinos could only dream of munching. In its stomping grounds, only one other species could even try to compete for that role, the Titanosaur Zhucheng Titan. But get this, even that guy might have been a tad smaller than Shantungasaurus. Can, can you believe it? A duck-billed dino, not some long-necked sauropod, was the size king of the region. Its bulk wasn't just an advantage, it was a straight-up flex. Don't mess with me. I'm the boss around here. Speaking of enemies... The biggest predator in the neighborhood was Zhu Cheng Tyrannus, a T Rex cousin. But compared to Shantungasaurus, it was kind of puny. A fully grown Zhu Cheng Tyrannus weighed about five tons, barely a third of Shantungasaurus's heft, taking down an adult Shantungasaurus. Yeah, good luck with that. Probably a mission impossible unless it was picking on a youngster. But don't think Shantungasaurus just coasted on its size. This beast came loaded with a full arsenal of defenses. First off, its sheer mass was enough to make any predator quake in their claws. If a Shantungosaurus charged at you full speed, the impact would hit like the combined punches of over 1,000 pro boxers. Ouch. And there's more recent research suggests duck-billed dinos might have been kickboxing champs. With those massive hind legs, a single kick from Shantungasaurus could send any predator sprawling. One of its legs was as big as an entire large predatory dinosaur. But wait, it gets better. Its tail, longer than two cars parked end to end, thicker than most sauropod tails, and reinforced with hardened bone tendons, it could swing that thing like a giant club, leaving enemies regretting their life choices. Picture a Zhucheng Tyrannus getting deleted a few meters by a Shantungosaurus tail whack. Not exactly a fun day at the office, right? And don't sleep on this Shantungosaurus rolled deep in massive herds. So predators weren't just facing one, they were up against a whole squad. Studies of their skulls reveal large cavities near the nose, likely covered with thin skin that acted like a built-in megaphone, letting them blast out sounds to warn their buddies when danger was near. Picture a herd of Shantungosaurus singing in unison to sound the alarm that noise would have echoed through the entire forest. Their bones were also stupidly tough, making it nearly impossible to take down a full-grown adult. Right now, there's zero evidence that Zhucheng Tyrannus hunted in packs to tackle these defensive tanks. In other words, a grown Shantungosaurus was pretty much untouchable. With all these traits, Shantungosaurus wasn't just a tank, it was a fortress on legs. But don't let its scary vibes fool you. This beast was a hardcore vegetarian. Shantungosaurus rocked a nightmare jaw with over one to five hundred tiny teeth, constantly growing and stacked in rows like a plant grinding machine. Paired with its big old beak, it could slice through leaves like a pro and maybe even deliver a love bite to any enemies if pushed. Those teeth were arranged in columns, perfect for pulverizing tough stuff like branches or thick leaves. The setup was so complex that any dentist would break out in a cold sweat just looking at it, combined with its massive size and herd lifestyle. Shantungasaurus was a forest-clearing bulldozer. Imagine this a herd of 50 Shantungasaurus marching through, leaving a barren wasteland behind. Kind of like how modern elephants redecorate forests. Today's elephant herds can wipe out 50 to 90 percent of a region's trees, so a Shantungosaurus crew three times their size would have had an even crazier impact. They were likely keystone species, shaping the entire ecosystem with their munching and stomping. Every step rattled the ground, and every chomp reshaped the landscape. It's hard to picture any other species flexing that kind of influence over its environment. Shantungosaurus called the Wangshi Formation Home a sprawling floodplain from the Cretaceous period, with a steamy, humid climate and a buffet of lush plants like ferns, ginkgos, pines, and cycads. This place was a dinosaur paradise, crawling with species like Cynoceratops, Zhuchengceratops, Ischioceratops, and even the massive Zhucheng Titan. Plus, there were fish, turtles, and a poorly preserved croc species chilling in the mix, but Shantungosaurus. It was the undisputed king of the scene. Even if its range wasn't huge, 
Maybe its gigantic size and massive energy needs meant not many places could support a herd of these monsters. Still, this species thrived for over 10 million years, a serious flex in the cutthroat world of the Cretaceous. But then, Shantungosaurus vanished. One theory suggests its insane energy demands became a burden when the environment shifted, leaving too little food to keep them going. Another idea points to a local extinction event, like volcanic activity in the Wangxi area, wiping them out. Lava flows and ash clouds could have trashed the ecosystem, leaving a plant-dependent beast like Shantungosaurus with no shot at survival. There's also a chance Shantungosaurus evolved into another duck-billed dino species, since similar ones stuck around in China until the end of the Cretaceous. Whatever the reason, no later species ever matched Shantungosaurus's sheer size, this colossal duck-billed dino, the ultimate ruler of the non-sauropod giants. Picture the final days of Shantungosaurus, a massive herd trudging across the plains, their calls echoing, tails swinging to fend off predators. They munch on trees, shake the forest, and shape the world around them. But then, one day, the environment flips. Maybe volcanoes erupt, maybe plants dwindle, or maybe something even weirder goes down. Slowly, these titans fade away, leaving only fossilized bones to tell the tale of their glory days. It's kind of a bummer, but also mind-blowingly cool to think a creature like this once roamed the Earth. So, there you have it, the story of Shantungosaurus, a forgotten giant that deserves way more hype. From its bonkers size and terrifying defenses to its role in sculpting ecosystems, this species was a true marvel of the ancient world. It's not just the biggest duck-billed dino, it's a symbol of the wild diversity and wonder of the dinosaur era. Next time you're thinking about the biggest dinos, don't just give props to T-Rex or Titanosaur. Save some awe for Shantungosaurus, the duck-billed beast that proved sometimes the plant eaters are the real bosses. Thanks for tagging along on this prehistoric adventure, and keep staying curious about the mysteries of the ancient world.